it's Sarah. Now we're going to go over some of the features of the RTC 1000 or the 12 key controller. This one's kind of our go to middle of the road, old reliable kiln controller. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So we're going to start with turning on our control board. It's going to take you to the idle screen. And it'll give you idle. So from here, in order to program your controller, you've got several features. You've got features that can be used during the programming of the controller, you, or during the firing of the controller. You've got add time, so when you need to add time, if you're, you're on a hold and you need 10 more minutes on it, you can add time during the firing. Uh, the delay allows you to delay the kiln from firing before it gets started. You can set it to start firing in two hours if you want to. Um, your ramp hold, this is just a method to get into what we're gonna use in just a moment. Uh, your present status during the firing you can press this button and it'll tell you which segment you're in and what the temperatures are and what it's doing program review allows you to review the program that you programmed before you start firing just to make sure that you didn't hit the wrong buttons the alarm allows you to set a temperature alarm now the alarm is just that a temperature alarm some people set it to zero and they think that zero is an alarm because that's turned off so it's zero it's not that is actually a temperature alarm and sets it to set off at zero degrees Fahrenheit. So we're going to go over that when we program it as well. This allows you to go backwards in the menu. This allows you to skip a step during the firing of your program. So if you're in the middle of your fuse and you've realized that you're in the hold and it's gone far enough and you need to stop it and move on now, instead of having to reprogram your controller, you can just skip the step and move on to the next one. So let's go ahead and start by, by showing you how to program this controller. So when programming this controller, these keys act as the enter acts as kind of a shift button for whatever is written in blue underneath each one of these buttons. So we're going to start with pressing the enter button. You'll get your dashes across the screen. We're going to choose number four for a ramp hold. This controller has six user programs, eight segments per program. So you actually have a lot of options in this one. So we're going to start with just user one. We're going to do a basic two segment program we're going to do so we're going to choose user one and press enter now right now it's set up for eight segments we're just going to choose the number of segments we want we want two segments your screen will read two and you just continue to press enter after every entry our a1 is your ramp for your first segment so your degrees per fahrenheit per hour Let's go pretty aggressive. We're going to say that this is an as fast as possible. Some of your controller or some of your programs will say AFAP as fast as possible. So for this one, that is 9999. So doing that, you tell the controller 9999 degrees an hour. Well, that's not really going to happen, but it tells it to go as fast as it can. And then you'll press enter. So the next one is your degrees Fahrenheit for the first segment, your target temperature. So let's say that we're going to target 1450 degrees for our first target temperature. Enter. The first hold is going to be the how long you want to hold it in the first for the first segment. So the hours are to the left of the decimal, minutes are to the right, and the numbers are literal, not fractional. So let's say that we want to hold this for 15 minutes at its peak temperature. So the screen will read 0.15, meaning 15 minutes. We press enter. And then we go into our second ramp. Now let's say that we need to go down to anneal, but we want to control it a little bit. So let's go at 450 degrees an hour. And let's say that we're doing COE 96. So let's choose 960 degrees for our target anneal temperature. And we're going to hold it for one hour and four minutes. So your screen reads one hour and four minutes. Now here's where we talked about that alarm. Most people see that 9999 and think, oh, no, I need to set it to zero. Well, setting it to zero automatically sets it to start beeping at you as soon as you turn on the kiln because your ambient temperature is greater than zero degrees Fahrenheit. So here, in order to turn off that alarm, you just leave it at 9999 and press enter. Once it goes back to idle, you are ready to fire the program that you just entered in. If you wanna make sure that you have the right program in there, you can press your review program. So enter and then the number six, and it'll start scrolling through the screen and showing you the program that you've put in there to fire. This is what will fire as soon as you hit the start button. So we're gonna let it scroll through here for just a second. And it tells you everything you put in there, it tells you your error codes are on, how many firings have been done. You can actually, in this controller, and their book explains it, 
you can put in a cost per firing. You can use your kilowatt, your cost per kilowatt hour from your power bill and enter that into a program into this controller and it can estimate your cost per firing. So in order to start this program, we're gonna press the enter button. It gives you that and then press start. And there you go, you're firing.